So in the declaration that we have prepared, um, it enumerates certain broad authorities that are then granted to the city manager and to the general manager for utilities in their respective areas to take certain actions, particularly in this kind of an emergency, which is very fluid, um, you know, change, uh, conditions are changing rapidly, um, it will be incumbent upon the two of them and pursuant to the authority granted in the declaration for them to then issue their own orders setting forth further things as the situation uh, unfolds and emerges. So it's not necessary for this body to reconvene to take those actions. As I said, the authority is vested in you. Under Florida law, those declarations of emergency are good for a period of seven days, after which they can then be re-upped. They can be, of course, changed at any time if conditions change accordingly. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, I, you know, I think what we'd like to do is hear from the city manager and the uh, general manager for the utility, um, kind of laying out what uh, broad uh, requests they're making uh, in the declaration of an emergency. Uh, then we can field questions from members of the commission. Um, uh, if there are things that are absent from there that, that you would uh, like some answers to why they are missing, or if there are things in there that you have concerns about, uh, they can uh, speak to those as well. Uh, Mr. Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Mayor, members of the commission. Lee Feldman, city manager. So, the, uh, we, we have pretty much a standard uh, uh, local determination of emergency declaration, of, in this case, a pandemic emergency. We will be asking that all the powers that are normally granted pursuant to uh, Chapter 252 of the Florida statute be uh, enumerated in here. Specifically, uh, the declaration will suspend Article 8.3 of the agreement with the IAFF, the International Association of Firefighters, which requires the declaration to, to suspend that. Uh, it would give me the authority to act under uh, Florida Statute Section 252.38 in dealing with this emergency. I would be the individual designated and authorized to enact and rescind curfews or limited assemblies within the city. Uh, it would also allow me to uh, take any and all actions under our current uh, emergency operations plan uh, in order to protect the uh, health, safety, and welfare of our community. It would uh, designate myself or Mr. Kowalski, our general manager for the utilities, as, as appropriate to suspend labor agreements with the uh, city. And it would also designate myself and Mr. Kowalski to waive the policies, procedures, and formalities otherwise required by the city for form, pertaining to the performance of public work and to take whatever action that is necessary to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of the city, uh, suspend procedures for entering into contracts and current obligations with regard to human resource policies, uh, rental of equipment, acquisition and distribution with or without compensation of supplies, materials, and facilities and to appropriate and expend public funds. This uh, emergency declaration, as Michelle said, will be in effect for seven days and then we'll have to be removed. Yeah, and I think the idea with that seven day uh, period is that things change rapidly and so if uh, scope needs to be broadened, we have an opportunity uh, to do that. I, we're also going to hopefully get some support from the state and federal level uh, and we'll need to be responsive to that as well. Uh, I, I would, I'm hoping and would expect some aggressive action to be coming uh, from our state government and, and uh, hopefully our federal government as well. Mr. Feldman, is something to add? Uh, if this is the proper time, I can also go into specifics as to what I would be doing under the uh, declaration in terms of restrictions uh, within the community. Yeah, please do. So, um, you know, recognizing that we are currently at the prevention stage, hopefully we don't get to a point of mitigation uh, and we can prevent the COVID-19. Starting to look, uh, following the CDC's guidance of limiting uh, groups to, uh, to 50 or under, putting the following uh, restrictions into place. And this is, the wording is still being worked on, so this is the final wording. But all places of public assembly, indoor and outdoor, 
will be limited to occupancy to 50 people or 50% of the occupancy load, whichever is less. So if you only have a occupancy for 30, most you'd be able